Captain Kidd. The persona of Ryuji Sakamoto in Persona 5 is based upon real-world figure William Kidd, widely regarded as the most famous pirate in history. As well as this order, Kidd is also credited as being the most successful pirate in history, as well as the first to bury plundered treasure on desert islands. Kidd's exploits directly inspire literary works such as Robert Louis Stevenson's Treasure Island and, obviously, the character Long John Silver. Kidd therefore could be considered responsible for the image of pirates that we hold in popular culture today. In game, the persona of Kidd most definitely reflects his popularised image of pirates. Right, let's see what we've got here. Uh, skull face, hook, or uh, rather a cannon for a hand. Uh, hat with a skull and crossbones, eye patch. Yep, it's it's all there. All the characteristics anyone would consider a pirate to have. He's altogether a fearsome looking fellow, and would therefore seem an apt persona for delinquent Ryuji Skull Sakamoto to have. Ryuji and Captain Kid are both of the Chariot Arcana, whose associated characteristics include strong will, and aspirations of conquest. What we have to remember though is that a persona both in Jungian psychology as well as within the Persona game series itself is regarded as a front or a mask. So with that in mind, how truthful a depiction is this Captain Kid to his real historical counterpart? The description of Persona Kid reads like so. Kid's reputation as a pirate became the stuff of legends and folklore, with many tall tales being told about his adventures. Perhaps though, the tallest tale ever told about Kid was that he was even a pirate at all. Kid was a Scottish sea captain, however he was not a pirate, he was a privateer. A privateer effectively was a pirate by commission. Although privateering, like piracy, involved the raiding of ships for their valuables, crucially, it was a legal practice. Not only was it legal, but in some cases it was sanctioned directly by the King of England himself. Privateers like Kidd would be given a letter of mark, essentially a letter of permission saying, hey, feel free to raid any ship you want, provided that it belongs to one of our enemies. England was at war with France at the time of Kidd's heyday. Kidd was therefore called upon to raid French ships to disrupt their forces, as stated in the description of Persona Kid, he ultimately helped save the French besieged colony of Nevis through raiding the French forces. So Kid was damn good at what he did. He was easily one of the most successful privateers of his day, if not the most. It's clear then that Kid is somewhat deserving of his reputation. He was competent and ruthless sure and good at raiding ships, but he was regarded as more of a heroic figure rather than an outlaw or a pirate. That is, until he raided the Kida merchant. Now this is where history gets muddy. Kidd's main operating area was the Indian Ocean, as at the time, it was a major crossing point for merchant ships. Ships passing through here belonged to both allies and enemies of the British Crown, as well as neutral parties. Kidd is recorded as raiding the Kida Merchant, a vessel which belonged to the East India Trading Company as well as Armenia, both of whom were at the time neutral to England. Through ransacking this ship, Kidd broke the terms of his letter of marque, which ultimately landed him in court where he was then sentenced to death. Historians agree that Kidd, or at least Kidd's men, raided this neutral ship. However, there is much disagreement in regards to why it happened and the surrounding circumstances. Persona 5 seems to take the stance that Kidd himself was entirely innocent, his crew taking the ship, quote, without his knowledge. There is some evidence for this take on things. Historians have documented that close to the time of the raiding of the Kida merchant, there was infighting and threats of mutiny within Kidd's crew. Kidd and his crew hadn't made it a big scores for a while, so supposedly Kidd's men took matters into their own hands and raided the merchant without his permission. This is just one interpretation though. Some historians are much less sympathetic to Kidd, arguing that he raided the merchant intentionally to satisfy his crew. Some even argue that he simply decided to go full pirate and raided the ship just because he thought he could get away with it. More recently, another interpretation has come to light. That Kidd did raid the ship, but he genuinely believed that the ship was French. Some context then. A trick Kidd liked to pull to conduct raids was to have multiple flags and passports aboard of his ships, each belonging to a different nationality. Therefore, if Kidd and his crew saw a French ship, they would change their flag to a French one and get out their fake French passport. They would then pull up alongside the French ship for a chat. The French ship, not suspecting anything, would lower their guard thinking they're friendlies, then bam, they were raided. Here's the thing though. This cheeky trick caught on over time. 
Many ships would therefore use this tactic defensively. If they saw another ship, they would match their flag and passport, so they would be mistaken as a friend, or at least a neutral force, and would be left alone. So the theory goes like this. Kid pulls up to the Armenian Kida merchant with a French flag and passport. The Kida merchant, defensively, gets out their fake French passport. Kid then thinks, great, turns out they're French, so we can raid them. The Kida merchant later finds out that Kid is British and tells on him to his bosses in England. Kid then ends up in court. Kid pleads innocent, telling the court he genuinely believed that the ship was French. The court asks him to evidence this with the merchant's French passport, but Kid doesn't have it. So is found guilty, then sentenced to death. More muddy water though. The Kida merchant's French passport was found later in 1910, filed randomly in the British trade archives. Some historians therefore believe that Kid was set up. The court had deliberately lost the passport Kid submitted that was proved his innocence. Some believe that Kid was set up to make an example of punishing piracy, a growing crime at the time. Others believe that Kid's contact to the king and financer, the Earl of Belmont, hid the passport so he himself wouldn't be associated with or implicated in piracy in any way. So, depending on your interpretation, Kid was either a privateer hero that lost control of his crew, he broke bad, or he unwittingly made a fatal mistake. No matter the interpretation though, Kid would have been sentenced to death anyway, even if he did have proof of his innocence. A short time before the Kida merchant incident, Kid actually murdered one of his crew, a capital offence, after a fight broke out on his ship. He actually killed a man by chucking a bucket at his head. So then, Persona 5's stance on Kid is the most sympathetic interpretation out there, believing him to be innocent as well as ignorant of any wrongdoing or acts of piracy. It seems a bit strange then that the Persona is so... Uh, piracy in appearance, for lack of a better term. Interestingly, in-game, Persona Kid says this to Ryuji. Then let us form a pact. Since your name has been disgraced already, why not hoist the flag and wreak havoc? It seems then that Persona Kid is aware of the pirate label thrust upon him, and has actually decided to just own it, as encouraging Ryuji to do the same. Ryuji parallels Kid in that he also has an undeserved criminal reputation. He's labelled as a delinquent because he punches a teacher. His reasons for doing so are however justifiable, standing up to the abusive Kamashida. Following this incident and being labelled as a delinquent, Ryuji adopts the stance and bleach blonde hair of a stereotypical Japanese delinquent. Effectively, like Kid, Ryuji has decided to own the label put upon him. Or perhaps it would be more apt to say that both Ryuji and Captain Kid both decided to embrace their personas. Don't take off.